Hello, good day to you, wherever you're watching from. Thank you for tuning in to another edition of Simple Safety Talks with Fumilola Oladoko. And if you are new here, you're highly welcome. This is where we discuss safety topics in simple, easy to understand format. And so kindly go to our page, subscribe to the page, and smash the notification button. And today we'll be talking on classes of fire. You know, the previous episode we talked about fire extinguisher and how to operate it. So, and we discussed a little bit about the classes of fire. And so it's just important for us to know what are exactly are the classes of fire. So welcome once again to Simple Safety Talk with Fumilola Oladu. Come with me now as we discuss classes of fire and what you need to know. So today, as I've said earlier, this is our episode four. So we've done episode one, two, three. And if you've not watched any of them, please kindly go to our page and watch, like, subscribe, and comment with respect to the previous episode. So today we'll talk about classes of fire and their extinguishing agents. What do you need to know with respect to it? And what is a class of fire? What exactly do we mean when we talk about a class of fire? A class of fire is just a way to categorize um, the fire based on the particular type of fuel that is burning. You know, we discussed in previous series that um, every fire needs three basic elements to burn, which is the oxygen, the heat, and the fuel. And so this time around, we are only going to be basing um, the classes with respect to the type of fuel that is burning. And we have the standard classes, which is class A, class B, class C, class D, and class K, class A. We have class A, which is ordinary combustibles, which are solids, the wood, your paper, your cloth, every one of them are under class A fire. So everything that burns with respect to anything you see that is a solid um, material and is um, an ordinary combustible, all of them are under the class A fires. And then we have the class B, which is flammable liquids. And these are the grease, the oil, the paint, the solvent, flammable liquids. And then the class C, we have live electrical equipment. In some school of thought, it is um, class E. So it's just for us to know. So, so class C, live electrical equipment. And for example, these are the electrical panels. These are the wirings. These are the motors. These are class C fire extinguishers, and also we have class D, which are, which are combustible metals. Combustible metals like the magnesium, the aluminum, et cetera, those are class D fires. And we have class K2, which are the commercial cooking equipment, the cooking oil, the animal fat, the vegetable oil, those ones are under the class K. So we have class A, B, C, D, and K the paper, the solid, the ordinary combustibles, the flammable liquid, the electrical equipment, the combustible metals, and then the cooking oil. So those are the, the five basic classes of fire. And so we now want to base the extinguishing agents with respect to the class. For class A, which we said are just ordinary combustibles, the wood, the paper, the cloth, the eye, the table, and all that that we see, the plastic bowls and all that, these are the solid combustible materials, which are ordinary combustible material. And so the extinguishing agent is water or foam. The main extinguishing agent for class A fires is water or foam. And then for the class B, the major is, um, which is the flammable liquids and uh, the extinguishing agent is chemical, is dry chemical, or carbon dioxide or CO2. So that is why I said in the earlier series that every workplace would look at what the kind of fuel that is in that area before they put a particular fire integration. So the same thing with respect to our homes. It is important for us to know the type of fire gear we put in particular places. But most of the time, it is a general uh, rule to have this um, extinguishing agent, a fire extinguisher that is 
for general, that is the dry chemical powder, which is for A class A, B, and C, different type, or almost all the types of fire. And so we have the gasoline, the grease, the oil, these are flammable liquids. And the extinguishing agent for this is dry chemical or carbon dioxide. And so the class B, the class C, which is the uh, gases, this is the electrical fires. Class C, which are the electrical fires, the execution agent is dry chemical powder or carbon dioxide. So class C, electrical fires or carbon dioxide. So for electrical fires, we have the dry chemical powder like, you need, like, like, like um, I've said earlier in class B now, which is flammable liquid. You, I saw that dry chemical powder can be used to extinguish it and also carbon dioxide. So for class C2, we have, we can use it. So like I said earlier, and earlier say, water and electrical fires are not friends because water is a good conductor of electricity. So kindly always note that, that we don't use water to fight electrical fires. And so the class D, which are combustible metals, the extinguishing agent is dry chemical, um, dry powder, chemical powder. So which are combustible metals and also the class E and the class K, which are the cooking fires. We have the distribution agent, which is wet or dry chemical. So like I've said before, we have in some school of thought, we have class E as electrical fires and we have class C as, um, the class C are flammable, flammable gases. So in some school of thought, we have class C as flammable glass gases and class E as electrical fires, and then class F as cooking fires. So it's just for you to know which type of, but the most important thing is which uh, extinguishing agent is meant for which type of fire. And so in summary, from what we have discussed today, we have discussed the classes of fire. We have said that the class A, class B, class C, and class D, and class K. And the most um, um, extinguishing agent that is common to all is the dry chemical powder. That's why you see this DCP fire extinguisher almost everywhere because it can be used for all the different types of fire. But like I said earlier, fire extinguishers is for small and incipient fires and for you to be able to pave your way to the exit to into a safe place, not for you to stay there and begin to fight a fire that is already at the growth stage or already fully developed state. So it is important for us to know that. So with this, I want to say thank you for watching today um, with respect to the classes of fire and their extinguishing agent. Thank you for watching kindly. Subscribe if you have not subscribed. Like our page and share to your friends because every home fire safety um, um, talks is everybody's business because you're part of a home and also you never know when you are going to need this information. Thank you for watching. Have a nice day. Bye for now.